A newly elected ANC Emalaseni Regional Chairperson, Dr. Ndutu Masaba says the newly elected regional chairperson will work towards uniting the party. Masaba, who is currently facing charges of assault, was re-elected unopposed. Now, the conference was attended by at least 300 delegates. SABC reporter Tulani Msimang and video journalist Tulani Ngobo spoke to Masaba on the sidelines of the conference in Newcastle. Watch. We are outside the Newcastle showgrounds where the ANC's Emalashen Regional Conference is currently underway. This is the second day of the regional conference in, in Emalashen. Last night, uh, Dr. Ndutu Omashaba was elected as regional chairperson of this region. We're going to speak to him right now, Dr. Mashaba, who is with us, to explain how he feels about his re-election with us. Thank you for your time, Dr. Mashaba. You were re-elected last night as the uh, chairperson of this region. How do you feel about that? No, I, I'm humbled by uh, the support that I'm getting from my comrades. Uh, and uh, especially that uh, uh, under the circumstances that one is going through, uh, but Comrade has still shown confidence in me. Uh, as uh, you may know that uh, I was elected un un unopposed. Uh, so that to me is something that I will always respect. It's, it's not something that is given, it's a right, but it's, it's a gesture from Comrade that we have a good working relationship and uh, I will forever respect that because we lead at the mercy of the members of the African National Congress. Mm. Dr. Mashaba, although you have been re-elected, you are one of those people who are affected by the step aside rule of the organization. You are current, you are asked to step aside because of the charges, the assault charges that you are facing right now. My question is, how is this going to affect your working for the organization as chairperson leading the campaign to the elections, local government elections, while you are facing the step aside rule? Firstly, I must say that uh, the step aside rule is a resolution of the conference of the ANC, which uh, I respect and uh, I don't have a problem with, uh, because when we join the ANC, we sign a declaration that will abide by all the aims and objectives of the African National Congress and all its truly adopted policy positions, which this is part of the adopted policy positions. Um, as a stepping aside, doesn't mean that you are resigning. It means you are not taking uh, fully the responsibility in which you've been given. And therefore, um, uh, as, a, as a member of the ANC, I will play my role where I, I, I'm needed to or I will be subject to the guidance from uh, our provincial leadership, which will guide as to how we need to uh, conduct ourselves during the period because we know elections are just around the corner. We need everyone to participate uh, mm. in terms of uh, helping the African National Congress to gather enough votes. So I will be subjected to what uh, the African National Congress says. Mm. Dr. Mashaba, one also wants to ask the question, your counterparts in district municipalities like Ileb and Zululand, the councillors there, the council counterparts, they were not able to register according to, I, to the IEC list. I understand here in Malaysia you were not affected that much. The question maybe is how did you manage to register on time and do everything accordingly as expected by the IEC? Well, uh, we started from day one when we were given the time timelines to, pre to prepare and um, I'm not saying that my other comrades did not prepare from day one uh, it uh, might be an, an element also of luck that uh, we, because I, 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 I understand that from the ANC uh, processes everything was submitted on time and I think there was an issue with uh, the, the system that IEC is using and I'm hoping that uh, with the Concord judgment now there will be an opportunity to resubmit so that uh, we can submit and contest fairly 
uh, in all the other uh, uh, districts that are affected. Mm. And lastly, Dr. Mashaba, the issue, the question of unity is something that is sometimes is lacking in the organization. How does it resonate with members here? You are the new chairperson. How do you hope to lead that going forward? Question of unity. As you have noted, branches here anonymously elected us. Uh, there was no glitch, no one raised anything against um, the proposed uh, or the nominated names. So we have done our best to try and unite comrades. Mm -hmm. Even comrades in the previous conference who did not support us and now are supporting us. Uh, so we have worked very hard with them to make sure that uh, we get uh, 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 everyone pulling in one direction. And uh, I'm hoping that uh, we will do much more going forward because we need a, a United African National Congress. ANC was built upon uh, the basis of discipline and unity. Uh, with those two things has kept the ANC to live uh, this long and uh, 109 years uh, because uh, we, we, we have those two principles as a guiding principle for, for the organization. Mm. Thank you for your time, Dr. Mashaba. That was Dr. Ma Tutugo Mashaba, who has been re-elected as chairperson of Malasheni region here in Newcastle. The conference is still underway here at the Newcastle Sports Showgrounds.